Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadhitam Sabhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lamata Shri Vishakhan Vitam Shri Ogyan Vimrajasya Dhananjana Shalataya Chakshurun Militam Vinaha Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapita Mena Bhutale Sayam Bhagaram Vijam Dadati Swapatantitam Adatana Sanam Dantevi Vidam Yache Punapunha Shri Madhuva Pram Poja Dhali Sri Islam Janma Janma Anarpita Chetim Chirat Karana Bhakarana Kamano Samara Pahitu Manna Toja Sansa Bhakti Shriyam Hari Purta Sundara Dhiti Kadamba Sandi Daha Sadaamke Kandari Svutuva Shichinandana Sansara Dukha Dhradhau Pagrasya Kamaha Kroha Adi Madramata Hi Kavali Kritasya Durasana Nivalitasya Nirashra Vatsya Chaitanya Chandra Mamadehi Paravalamam Chaitanya Chandra Mamadhu Kuvadam Vitasya Ruddhyam Videhi Gachinta Vrindaranvai Kincha Paravindam Nividam Vidhuva Padam Rutam Sadapaya Durgatamam Sankarshana Kanato Yeshayi Dabhu Vishayi Tapayo Vishayi Sheshesham Sakalas Nitya Nanda Kherama Sharanam Amasu First of all, offer me a million some of the senses to notice with us. Aswati Guru Pat, Manita, President Guru Shishu of the Ranta, Nangu Shai Maharaj, then offer the best senses to Tendi Swam Shishu of the Ranta, Dandi Maharaj, Namanishta Santoshi, and Guddas Prabhuji, all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis were gathered. So, so we are reading from the first chapter, text number 32 to 35. They are in club together by Shri Bhakta Swami Maharaj. I will also read them together. Kimno Rajena Govinda Kimbo Veji Vitena Va Nisha Marthe Kanshtam No Rajyam Bhoga Sukhancha Tahiriyamastita yudde pranam sakvadhananita Acharya pitara putra tahiriva chatita maham Matula shushira putra shara sambhina stata Shara sambhina stata Etanna vanta mitchami nato bhi madhusudana Abhi Apitrailo Kerajasya Hero Kim Mahi Krute Yetadra Dharthrashta Naka Janardana. So here, very wonderful verses. Kim, what use Na to us? Rajena is the kingdom. So here, Arjuna is telling Krishna, I have no use of the kingdom. I have no use of the kingdom. Uh, Govinda or Krishna. Kim Bhogahi. Uh, what enjoyments jeevit and a living va either. Yesham whom arthe for the sake kaushitam is desired naha by us. Rajam kingdom. Bhogaha material enjoyment. Sukhani or happiness. Cha also. He, all of them. He may. He is. Avastita situated Yudhe on this battlefield. Anan lies Tattva giving up Dhanani riches. So also Acharya teachers, Pitara others. Putraha Satha as well as Eva certain riches also Pitamaha grandfathers, Matula maternal uncles, Shushuraha fathers in law. Praha, grandsons, Shalaha, brothers in law, Sammandina, relatives, Katha, as well as Ethan. All these, na, never, uh, 
अन्तु दुख्य इच्छा द्वैविश नतः निकिन अपि एव विवन मधुसूदना ओ किरण ऑफ द डिमन मधु कृष्णा अपि विवन इव तैक्य ऑफ द थ्री वर्ल्ड्स राज्यस्य ऑफ द किंगडम हे तो हो इन एक्सचेंज किम नो व्हाट टू स्पीक ऑफ माई कृत फॉर द सेक ऑफ द अर्थ निहत्य बाय किलिंग धातराष्ट्रान द सन्स ऑफ धातराष्ट्र न अवर का व्हाट इट ही प्लेजर सेट विल देयर बी जनार्दन ओ मेंटेन द ऑल लिविंग एंटिटीज ट्रांसलेशन एंड ट्रांसलेशन बाय इज डिवाइन विशिष्ट इन व्हाट द साइ महाराज ओ गोविंद ऑफ व्हाट when all those for whom we may desire for whom we may desire them are now aired on this battle o madhusan when teachers fathers sons grandfathers maternal uncles fathers in law grandsons brothers in law and other relatives are ready to give up their lives and properties and are standing for me why should i wish to kill them even though they might otherwise kill me Oh, mental of all living entities, I am not prepared to fight with them, even in exchange for the three worlds. Let alone this earth, what pleasure will be derived from killing the souls of the trash? Now in India also, many times there are the elections, political elections, and we have seen that the relatives fighting. Uh, there is actually war between relatives also. Uh. Like in Maharashtra, there is one seat. Uh, Sanjay Munde and his cousin sister Pankaja Munde contested an election, and Dhananjay Munde emerged victorious. So it may happen even close relatives may battle it out in an election. So same is happening in the war, and Arjun is not very really happy about this because it is so hard to vote. So Arjun has addressed Lord Krishna as Govinda because Krishna is the object of all pleasures for cows and sheep. Understand? Govinda is one who gives pleasure to the cows and the senses. Huh? Cows are very, very important. Huh? Actually, cows they give so much pleasure to Krishna. Uh, they give the milk, um, and also we have seen that uh, best sweets that are made with milk of a cow. Means I think uh, any meal is not complete without sweet rice. And sweet rice, the main ingredient is the very good quality milk, like Bengali goat milk. They are very wonderful cow, cows of Indian breed. Huh? So, Dandi Maharaj brought one cow, Punjab cow. And then I think she's gone now. But then he got some uh, ghee cows. Then multiplied, and some people donated. And then uh, we also got some Ongol cows. Uh, Uh, from Andhra Pradesh, and they are still there, uh, so like that. So cows are incredible. Cows are very, very important because it's a good quality milk you get from cows. The ghee from the cow is the best. If you have any eye problem, just put one drop of ghee, pure ghee from Indian blood of cow. That helps the eyes. Understand? So Krishna is called Govinda because he gives pleasure to the cows and the senses. And by using this uh, significant word. Uh, Arjuna indicates that Krishna should understand what will satisfy Arjuna. Hmm? So Arjuna wants to be happy. He is consulting uh, Bhagwan Sri Krishna. Govinda, and we should also consult Krishna if we want to be happy. Actually, the thing is, people want to be happy, but they do things which will make them unhappy. So we have to take guidance from spiritual master. So Krishna, Krishna is acting as the spiritual master here for Arjuna, and we should also uh, approach our spiritual master and humbly ask him, like Master Narayana Narad Muni, that why am I unhappy? Huh? So we should ask this question. Materially, everyone wants to satisfy his senses and wants God to be the order supplier for such satisfaction. Now, this is what is going on in the material world. The people are actually. Thinking that God is an order carrier, is only meant to satisfy their desires, and they will ask God, "Please, God, give us beautiful wife, give me good, beautiful son, give me a good job, and God should give it." And if 
preserve you, then he is not God or he is not uh, merciful God and he is against him. Mm. So Lord is not our order killer. Mm. Like a lot of people that tell, oh, they should do like this, Narendra Modi should do like that. He is not an order carrier of everyone. Understand? So Bhagwan is also not like that. Um, the Lord will satisfy the senses of the living entities as much as they deserve, but not to the extent that they may covet. Understand? So you see that Bhagwan's sweet will, he will provide you the clothes, he will give you the food, he will give you the medicines, he will give you an accommodation. This all is sweet will. Mm. We cannot dictate. Uh, for example, I I am staying in a very simple room. You see, Sindhanur Gaudiya Mata, Gaurnarayan Gaudiya Mata, in a place near Kishkinda. Uh, and I should be satisfied. Whatever prasad the local uh, devotees provide me, rice or sabji, mm, I should be satisfied. Whatever room they have given me, I should be satisfied. Uh, I cannot demand a very uh, air conditioned room, and I cannot demand, you know, a very high class. No. Whatever simple, simple life means, uh, your needs are taken. Sri Bhagavad Gita also told me many times, Krishna Maharaj should not worry about money. Should not worry about money at all. Uh, you simply keep on preaching. Give on, keep on giving classes, bring to Nagar Kirta, and Krishna will mentor you. Uh, because Bhagavad Gita itself, Krishna has promised, Ananyashyanta yannoma yejanaha paripasate nisham nitta vijutta nam yoga kshemam maham yam. Like I see that absolute uh, faith in the words of Bhagavad, uh, the, the, the embodiment of the Guru Dev and also Sri Pagandhi Maharaj. They have, both of them, absolute faith, absolute faith in Bhagavan's words that Bhagavan will maintain. I have never seen Sri Pagandhi Maharaj worrying about his maintenance. Uh, he's only worrying about how to take care of the cows, how to satisfy the devotees, how to educate the devotees, and how to serve the deities. He's not worried about his personal maintenance. He never. Srila Gurudev also, I never saw him worried about his personal maintenance. He was simply engaged in wonderful editing the books, translating the books, preaching, giving Harikatha, Helping the devotees and automatically all his needs were taken care of. Guru they had no shortage of anything. I have seen personally that how devotees were willing to serve him. Even for 10 minutes, they just wait for days and days so that they could uh, clean the room of Guru or they could massage his body or they could wash his clothes. There were so many devotees that lined up to do any favor for Guru Dev. Just waiting outside his quarters. Because he was totally dependent on Krishna, he was doing everything for Krishna, he was trying to satisfy Guru and Krishna. So, Krishna was so satisfied that he sent him so many servants and he was uh, overwhelmed. Devotees were always waiting to have him to do your entering on the smallest service to the Guru. I have seen that by my own eyes. So, Lord will satisfy the service of the living entities and enough for everyone's need, but there is not enough for everyone's need. And whatever your needs are, oh, they are already taken care of. The Gurudev once he told that come to Vrindavan and you can, Ekadishi or some other day, you can see the roadside near Radha Govinda Temple, Radha Govinda Temple, and people will give you so much charity. They will give rice and sabji and they will give money also. And you will have no problem taking prasadam. You will not go hungry. He said, don't worry, in Vrindavan, no one will stop. You come to Vrindavan, I'll take care of you. And I have personally seen that in Vrindavan, so much Radham is always available hmm. by Radhani's mercy. In Tirupati also I've seen, constantly Anandana is going on by the mercy of Lord Venkateshwar Swami. In Pandarpur also, uh, Pandar Pandarpur also, so many places, Bhagwan's desire by Radhani's mercy, so, Arjuna's deep affection for community and family members exhibited here, partly due to his natural compassion for them. See, Arjuna is feeling compassion. Bhakta is compassion. He should feel compassion for the others. 
And Arjuna, he is so much affection for his community and family members. He is feeling compassion for them. Oh, my brothers will be killed in the war. I don't want to fight. I don't want to kill them. Mm. She is not prepared to fight. Everyone wants to show his opulence to friends and relatives. But Arjuna fears that all his relatives and friends will be killed on the battlefield and he will be unable to share his opulence after victory. This is the typical combination of murderous life. Understand? Yeah. So Arjuna is thinking that if my relatives are dead, my cousins are dead, my friends are dead, then when I inherit the kingdom, uh, who will actually appreciate my opulent life? So this is a typical calculation of material life. Hmm. Like people celebrate many times, marriage anniversary, 50th marriage anniversary, uh, birthdays and all these things. Just to show that how opulent they are, how they are enjoying. They invite their friends, relatives and they want to show how opulent they are. This is a material consideration. The transcendental life, however, is different. Since devotee wants to satisfy the desire of the Lord, he can, Lord willing, accept all kinds of opulence for the service of the Lord. As you see that Srila Bhaktivedan Swami Maharaj, he built very opulent temples. Srila Gurudev also, in Govardhani, built a very opulent temple. Also in Navadhi, built a very big temple. Accepted. He accepted whatever opulence he got for the service of Krishna. And he engaged in Krishna's service. So the Guru there engaged a single pai uh, he got from Bhagavan, from the devotees as donation. Uh, he engaged every single pai in the service of the holy abode of Navadhi and Sri Govardhan. He was always trying to satisfy Sri Krishna, Krishna Guru there. Hmm. So if the Lord is not willing, he should not accept a farthing. Uh, so you see that sometimes you go on preaching, uh, sometimes you get a big donation for books, and sometimes no one, they don't give anything. But we should not worry. Uh, we should not worry. We should always endeavor to preach. Uh, so, uh, preaching is not a material business. Oh, I'll be able to sell 100 books. I'll make so much profit. No. It is not a profiteering mentality. You should go out with a bag, bag of books. And you should ask everyone, sir, this is a very good book, um, and this book will change your life. This talks about uh, the message of Sri Krishna to Arjuna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. This message is also very valid in hectic lifestyle today. If you may sell Gita like this, you may buy, understand? So you donation from them, whatever they can afford. And in this way, we should propagate the message of Srila Gurudev and Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. Hmm. The transcendent life, however, is different. Since a devotee wants to satisfy the desires of the Lord, he can, Lord willing, accept all kinds of opulences, all kinds of opulences for the service of the Lord. And if the Lord is not willing, we should not accept a farthing. So here, Arjun did not want to kill his relatives. If there were any need to kill them, he decided that Krishna killed them personally. At this point, he did not know that Krishna had already killed them before they were coming into the battlefield and he was only to become an instrument for Krishna. So, Krishna tells Arjun, Mayeva hite, Mayeva hite, Purva Mitva, Nivitta Matam, Bhagasamya Sanchi. Sarvya Sarchi means Arjuna is such a great uh, archer that he can shoot arrows even by the hand. Such a person is called Sarvya Sarchi. Understand? He can string the bow by his left hand and shoot the arrows very accurately by his left hand and such a person is called Sarvya Sarchi. So Arjuna, he is uh, only an instrument. Krishna has already killed this, all these warriors. Because they offended a pure devotee, Dropper in the assembly of Kurus. They tried to stay naked. So Krishna was not very happy that how they are treating his pure devotee Dropadi, who Dropadi was very dear to Krishna, more than even Arjuna and Yudhishthira. Uh, she was more advanced than Arjuna and Yudhishthira. So Krishna could not tolerate an insult to the devotee. <coughs> <coughs> 
भगवान का टॉलरेट एंड इंसल्ट हिमसेल्फ बट नॉट टू हिज डिवोटीज भगवान से जिन भगवत भागवतम से अहम भक्त पाता दिनो नहीं अस्वतंत्र ही वो द्विजा साधु के ग्रस्त होते हैं भक्त तो भक्त जन प्रिया दैट नॉट अलोंग द डिवोटीज बट डिवोटीज ऑफ डिवोटीज ऑफ सुवेर डियर टू मी डिवोटीज आर माय हार्ट एंड आई एम द हार्ट ऑफ द डिवोटीज so this fact is disclosed in the following chapters as a natural devotee of the lord arjun did not like retaliate against the miscreant kajits and others but it was the lord spoken that they should all be killed understand even if arjun doesn't want to kill bhagwan has made a plan so our job is to satisfy we should join the plan of bhagwan like when we are saying oh I want to assist Sri Guru Dev. I want to assist Sri Pad Dandi Maharaj in his project. It is that we are simply, simply following the will of God. Uh, Krishna Shakti will not be our problem. Don't think that uh, whatever Sri Guru Dev did, whatever preaching he did, he did it on his own strength. No, actually it was the strength of Krishna and Param Guru Dev. The entire Guru Param Dev and him. He was a representative. So, Sri Guru Dev was uh, representing Krishna only, and that's why this mission of Sri Bhakti Dhan Sai Maharaj, the Guru Dev, is directly the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Krishna. And whatever they are doing, they are actually are the pure agents of Sri Krishna. So, Sri Guru Dev is acting uh, as the Pure agent of Radha Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They are the transcendental creatures, uh, uh, like Narada Muni, the transcendental stress man. But whatever Narada Muni preaching, they want to satisfy Sri Krishna, and by the desire of Sri Krishna. So devotee of the Lord does not retaliate against the wrong. Tolerate any mischief done to the devotee by the miscreants. Uh, this is also very clear. That you see that Draupadi may have forgiven, or uh, any devotee may forgive the miscreants, but Lord will not tolerate any mischief. Understand? That Amrish was forgiving Durvasa, uh, but um, Bhagwan he could not tolerate. Oh, how Durvasa is trying to kill my pure devotee Amrish. Was following pure Ekadashi, and therefore he sent his Sudarshan Chakra. Obviously, Durvas is also Shiva Dhamsha, and is also a pure devotee. He is only a pastime, but Bhagwan does not like to tolerate the any mischief to his devotees. The Lord can excuse a person on his own account. He excuses no one. He has done harm to his devotees. Bhagwan so cannot tolerate. Anyone doing harm to his devotees. Therefore, the Lord was determined to kill the miscreants. Although Arjuna wanted to excuse them, now Arjuna wants to excuse Karna and uh, Jarasandha, Duryodhana, Dushyanta, but Bhagwan wants to get rid of them because they have offended Draupadi. So this is a very wonderful verse uh, we read now, um, and uh, Shri Guru has. Um, Also, the Tamil Grandi that Kimbo Raja Govinda Kimbo Deji Vite Nava Isha Marthe Kanti Tamo Rajim Boga Swanicha Taime Vavastita Yudde Pranam Sapatana Nicha Acharya Pitara Putra Taiva Sri Ama जीवितेविंग For those for whose arthe sek kangshitam are desired na bias rajam kingdom bhoga enjoyment sukhan all such also they they 
इमे दे अवस्थित प्रेजेंट हियर युद्धे इन वॉरफेयर प्राणान लाइव्स तत्वा गिविंग अप धनानी रिचर्च आल्सो आचार्यः टीचर्स पितरः फादर्स पुत्रः सन्स तथा एज वेल एव सडनली च एंड पितामह ग्रैंडफादर्स मातुरः मैटर्नल अंकल शिशुरः फादर्स इन लॉ पुत्रः ग्रैंडसन्स शालाः ब्रदर्स इन लॉ संबंधिना रिलेटिव्स तथा एज वेल एतान दिस पीपल ना नॉट हंतुम पुत्रम इच्छामि do not wish nataha api madhusudana o slayer of madhusudan o govinda of what used uh, what used to us is a term enjoyment or even life itself when those for whom we desire those for whom we desire them teacher angal sons grandfathers maternal uncles father in law grandsons brothers in law and other citizens all standing before us in battle array and ready to give up their lives and that therefore madhusudan you when if they kill me i still do not wish to kill them how much you will see are you so much you mm-hmm. certified api pelo kiraj तो Such aggressors are not 
are at once to be killed. And no sin is incurred by killing of aggressors. Since killing of aggressor is um, killing of aggressors is um, is quite befitting any ordinary man. And Arjun was not an ordinary person. He was set free by character. And therefore he wanted to deal with them in uh, uh, in saintliness. This kind of saintliness, however, is not for a Kshatri. Although Although a responsible man in the administration of a state is required to be saintly, he should be should not be poverty. For example, Lord Ram was so saintly that people even now are anxious to live in the kingdom of Lord Ram, Ram Raj. But Lord Ram never showed any cowardice. Ravan was an aggressor against Ram because Ravana killed Ramas. Ravana kidnapped Ramas by Sita. But Lord Krishna gave him sufficient lessons imparalleled in the history of the world. In Arjuna's case, however, one should not, one should consider the special type of aggressors, namely his own grandfather, own teacher, friends, sons, grandsons, etc. However, because of them, Arjuna thought that he should not take up the severe steps necessary against ordinary aggressors. Besides that, saintly persons are advised to forgive. Such injunctions for saintly persons are more important than any political emergency. Arjuna considered that rather than kill his own kinsmen for political reasons, it would be better to forgive them on grounds of religion and saintly behavior. He did not therefore consider such killing profitable simply for the matter of temporary bodily happiness. After all, kingdoms and Pleasures derived therefrom are not permanent. So, why should he risk his life and eternal salvation by killing his own kinsmen? Arjuna addressed Krishna as Madhava, or husband of the God of which is also significant in, the, in this condition, in this connection. He wanted to point out to Krishna that an as husband of goddess of fortune, he should not induce Arjuna to take a matter which would ultimately bring about misfortune. Krishna, however, never reaches, never, however, never brings misfortune to anyone to say something, to say nothing of his devotees. So, Verse number 718. I hope it is one of the important verses. So, anyway, we are covering all the verses. Text number 37 38. First chapter. Uh, first candle. Pashanti Loko Pathajasa, Pulakshay Kutum Dusha, Mito Dushay Tapatakam. Kathamna Jeva Smadhi Papa Dasmani Vartam Ulakshay Kutam Dosham Papa Shatina Janardana Hare Krishna. O Janardana, although it may, their hearts overtaken by greed, see no fault in killing one's family or quarreling with friends. Why should we? Who can see the crime in destroying family? Engage in these acts of sin. Kshatriya is not supposed to refuse to battle or gamble when he is not he is so invited by a rival party. Under such circumstances, under such obligation, Arjuna would not refuse to fight, although he had been 
challenged by the party of the leader. In this connection, Arjuna considered that the other party might be blind to effects of such a challenge. Arjuna, however, could not see the evil consequences and could not accept. Arjuna, however, could not see the evil consequences and could not accept the wage. Obligation is actually binding when the effect is, but when the effect is otherwise, uh, then one can be bound. And considering all these pros and cons, Arjuna uh, decided not to fight. <clears throat> okay. So we will stop here today. We we'll cover next time the verse number uh, uh, two, uh, verse number one thirty eight. Uh, again, we we'll cover that. From Shilakudeva's commentary. Thank you very much for joining for this online discourse of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Dhanavad. Vanchaga Uttari Vaishya Krupa Sindhu Vaishya Pradana Pavane Vyo Vishnu Vyo Ramanama. Dhanavad. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much for that, uh, Maharaj. Dhanavad. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shishi Guru Vyoranama. Hare Krishna. Radha Vinod Vyari Ji Ki Jai. Om Vishnu Pa Rastot Rashashi Madhbakti Vishnu Deity Gosumaya Maharaj Ki Jai Om Vishnu Pa Rastot Rashashi Madhbakti Vishnu Dandi Gosumaya Maharaj Ki Jai Niti Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Pa Rastot Rashashi Madhbakti Vishnu Narayan Gosumaya Maharaj Ki Jai Niti Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Pa Rastot Rashashi Madhbakti Vishnu Vaman Gosumaya Maharaj Ki Jai Niti Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Pa Rastot Rashashi Madhbakti Vishnu Swami Maharaj Ki Jai Niti Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Pa Rastot Rashashi Madhbakti Vishnu Nitile Pravishtam Vishnu Parastota Rashashila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Gosain Prabhupada Ki Jai Nitile Pravishtam Parama Bhagavad Prabhara Sishila Gol Bhagavati Parama Ki Jai Nitile Pravishtam Sishila Sachi Danana Bhakma Thakur Ki Jai Nitile Pravishtam Vishnam Kumar Sishila Jagannatha Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Shri Gaudiya Vedanta Sishila Baladev Vidya Bhushan Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Vishnu Chakravi Thakur Ki Jai Shri La Narottam Shinivas Shamanda Prabhu Trai Ki Jai Shri La Krishna Skavaraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Rupa Sanatan Bhat Raghuna Ji Jeeva Gopal Bhat Asta Sat Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Sarup Damodar Raya Ramandari Dari Rupa Prasad Vini Ki Jai Nama Chara Shri Ardas Thakur Ki Jai Prem Sarko Shri Krishna Chai Danya Prabhu Vita Nand Dhrupa Gadadara Shri Vasati Gaur Bhakta Vinda Ki Jai Shri Anta Dvip Mayapur Shri Man Dvip Godram Dvip Madhya Dvip Kola Dvip Ritu Dvip Jami Dvip Modra Drum Deep, Ruda Tipat Makashi Navadi Dam Ki J, Shishi Radha Krishna Gopa, Gopi Go Go Vardan, Vadash Vanat Maka, Shri Vajamandar Ki J, Shri Radha Kum Sham Kumba, Mona Tulasi, Bhakti Devi Ki J, Shri Mati Vinda Devi Ki J, Shri Mona Masi Yoga Mai Ki J, Shri Gopish Var Mahadev Ki J, Shri Jagannath Baladev Subad, Shri Darshan Chakra Ji Ki J, Shri Sheta Mandar Ki J, Shri Navina Shikari, Shri Narsima Devi Ki J, Bhakti Prabhupada Shri Prahar Maharaj Ki J, Char Dham Ki J, Char Sampadaya Ki J, Char Chari Ki J, Akar Maharaj Shri Chaitanya Mahat Ki J, Shri Shri Keshi Vaji Gaudiya Mahat Ota Sakka Mahat Sama Ki J, Kandra Shri Mar Bhagavad Ki J, Shri Bhagavad Gita Ki J, Shri Hari Nam Sakit Ki J, Ananta Koti Vaishna Vrinda Ki J, Sama Gad Bhakta Vrinda Ki J, Shri Nitai Gaur Hari Hari Bhor. Jai 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 Shri Anamon Prabhu Ki Jai, Dada Pranam, thank you so much. Please join every Sunday for this Bhagavad Gita discourse. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Hare Krishna. Thank you, everyone. That marks the end for today's class. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful afternoon or morning, wherever you are. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.